Hi, everybody. Quint Lear's NewHomesales.com. I'm here with Kathy Ecke with Jensen Communities. Kathy, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. We are here at the Jeff Shore uh, Leadership Sales Summit, and we're having some kind of Mardi Gras ce- celebration. Uh, they made me wear this hat, and I got some jewelry. Got some jewelry up in here. <laughs> hey, listen, we're having a good time. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. You've got an amazing position because you do a lot. You wear a lot of hats, no pun intended. T- tell our audience, what do you do? So I work with our entire sales team and train them and have a, t- a total training process that we work through. And I also work as the marketing manager. So it's kind of nice actually uh, to have sales and marketing join together because then we, we're all in sync. So you train the salespeople and the marketing people or are you in the marketing and sales I train the salespeople and I oversee marketing. So everything. Hey, <laughs> photo bomb. Photo bomb. Hey, <laughs> hey, there we go. We're gonna get you on the program too. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen. So tell me. Okay. So you're in sales training. Why come to an event like this? Are you picking up training techniques? Are you looking for cutting edge solutions? What are you doing? Uh, all of those things, really. I mean, we're, I'm looking for um, kind of some overall insight over you know with training uh working with salespeople, just trying to better manage people um bring a little insight as far as culture is concerned as well so it's a combination of things for me you've come a long way you're from connecticut you've invested a lot of money in time and travel and what have you gained so far from the event um, so far, it's more of a confirmation of kind of how we train and we think. I mean, we uh, you know, we use Jeff Shore's system. We use the 4-2 formula. Every single person that works for our company has been trained um, starting with the 4-2 formula. So um, that's big, my big plug for uh, Jeff Shore. Um, but, you know, it's, um, it's a confirmation of how we think. It also helps to see what other companies do and how they think and um, just kind of helps you know, me develop more ideas for culture and just more sales training ideas. Tell me this, so what do you do different? And you're using the 4-2 formula as a foundation, but what do you do personally? What does Kathy do in your um, culture? What are you doing with your training that you do different with your team? Uh, our team uh, is, is on a regular training program. So we meet on a bi-weekly basis. Uh, we have not only the 4-2 formula, but we also use other uh, methods. Uh, part of, I think, what, what makes us unique or the training unique is that we um, really take the time to relate to customers and ask the right questions and listen. You know, We talk to our salespeople more about listening than talking. Tell me more about that. So, you know, basically asking the right questions um, and really engaging and listening, making sure that we hear exactly what they're saying. So we're not throwing out a spiel, we're, we're connecting. You know, it's, it, it, Jeff, you know, talks about becoming coffee worthy. That's one of the most important things for us because in our communities, we're not only um, selling them a home, they're living in our community that we're managing. So the connection is huge. Connection, listening, coffee worthy. Am I coffee worthy? Absolutely. Look at you got me on camera. It was so hard. The band was going. So, what what's a mistake that you see with companies, your competitors? What are you doing that you with salespeople right now, with culture? Tell me a mistake that you're seeing out there. Um, I, w- I would say one of the big mistakes is kind of this. Um, managerial process that's you do this you do that it's kind of this you know dictatorship versus connecting with your employees and really taking the time to understand them where they come from you know a lot of times people don't um, go to college to be in sales so when somebody ends up in sales they probably have a a lot of background behind them and or or a lot of reasons why they got into sales so knowing and understanding your salespeople um, and taking that time and and making an individual connection is the most important thing to me Um, when you have everybody kind of fitting into one mold or trying that it doesn't always work There, let's say there's a frontline salesperson that's not feeling motivated. How do you motivate your sales team? Um, really, the first thing that I really try to do is make that personal connection, um, build that trust. 
uh, because I don't I, I don't think you can walk into a room or you know meeting somebody for the first time or somebody who's maybe a seasoned salesperson they don't always buy into you um, so really making that personal connection that tr building that trust is gonna be the first step it has really nothing to do with sales training it has more to do with a connection for our audience I want one marketing maybe two maybe five marketing tips just something that you're like hey this is something that we do this is some secret sauce and we're gonna share it what is it uh, the number one secret sauce would be um, really getting you know the connection with your resident with your customers and and getting them to buy in and, and promote you I mean that to me is if you don't have that connection if and, and that really starts through sales training, through you know the company culture, if they don't feel that, they're they're not helping you sell any houses either. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about what they think, not what you think. Kathy Ecke, best in the business, Jensen Communities. Any shout outs? Oh, we got a shout out to our guys here, right here. Who is this guy? This is Brick and Morty, and it's hashtag Where's Brick and Morty, and they are all over our community, so check us out. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Well, now uh, they're on newhomesales.com. Full endorsement. Uh, we're going viral here. We're going viral. Thanks again, Kathy. Your best. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a fun event.